I'm Paul Pritke, Chair of the RVX Scientific Advisory Board. I'm here today with Dr. Ed Gershberg, author of a recent paper in the journal Vaccines. Ed, congratulations on the paper and congratulations for making the cover as well. Thank you so much. Uh, tell me, who was involved in this study? So this study was collaboration of uh, rational vaccines with Dr. Bertke's group at Virginia Tech and Dr. Carr's group at Oklahoma State University. And what was the purpose? What were the goals of this study? The main goal of the study was to demonstrate safety or to test safety of the two vaccine candidate, candidates that we're developing for clinical studies. Uh, these two vaccine candidates are named uh, RVX201 and RVX202. The secondary goal of the study was to test or look for indications of efficacy of these vaccines. Great. Can you tell me how the study was designed? We had several groups of animals. One group was not uh, uh, treated in any way. They were our negative control group. The second group was infected with vile type virus. This is the virus that was not changed in any way. And these were our con positive control animals. We looked for clinical symptoms in these animals to make sure that the virus actually causes uh, syndromes or symptoms. And then the two last groups were treated separately with RVX201 or RVX202. We followed all these animals for 28 days. At the end, we collected samples from these animals to look for evidence of the virus in these samples. All right. And what were the results of these studies? So the results were very exciting and promising. And first of all, we found that both of the candidates were completely safe. So we, we, we had three main groups of results, if you will. So one was that clinical signs were observed in animals in positive group. These were infected with wild type virus, but they were not observed in both group, uh, in, inoculated with vaccine candidates. Then in the samples, we could see the virus, it, the wild type virus in the positive control group, but we could not detect any uh, virus in both uh, uh, treatment groups. And finally, the wild type virus established latency in these animals, which means that it infected neurons or nerves, cells and nerve system, and the two vaccine candidates did not. Well, that's very exciting. What type of implications does this have for use of these candidates as therapeutics in humans? First, both candidates were safe in animals, and we expect them to be safe in patients. Second, we saw high level of neutralizing antibodies in this study. Previously, we published that antibodies are important for immune responses against herpes virus infections. Seeing this high level of neutralizing antibody gives us confidence that these two candidates could be effective in both therapeutic and prophylactic settings. Well, that's very exciting. Thanks for your time, and again, congratulations on the publication. Thank you.